Hey guys, and welcome to bowhunterplanet.com. I'm Dave Thomas, and on today's show, we are checking out the bow that is made for people who need a little bit less draw weight, the image from Matthews. So if you're an archer who is looking for a bow, well, I should, let's restart that. If you're an archer who loves the Matthews brand and wants to shoot it, but needs lower draw weights, this bow was made just for you. Uh, what Matthews did here was provide you a bow that uh, is gonna still hit in those top speeds and still provide the highest technology they can give you on a bow, uh, but at the draw weights that you need. So this bow is available in a 40, 43, 47, or 50 pound draw peak weights. So that means you have decent amount of weight to pull, but you can still pull this if you're a person that just can't handle that extra weight in the 60s but still wanna shoot a Matthews bow, the image gives you that ability. So with this bow, you are gonna get a modded system, so it does use a mod specific to your draw length. However, um, you are getting a very smooth cam cycle with this cam, as you can see here, uh, as we can see from the Matthews bow lines. This cam, this is the way it looks, So just to show you, it is the same cam from the phase four. So that gives you an idea of what you're getting here. So you're still getting all that big power, just less weight and different limbs here, as you can see. Whereas the phase four, we got these fatter, wider limbs that are obviously four limbs instead of two. Um, but uh, you don't need all these extra limbs if you're trying to pull some of that weight out that you're not gonna use anyway. So it doesn't make sense to use that uh, portion of it. So therefore you still have the connect system. Uh, if you want to add all those accessories that Matthews has for this, they even still give you the bridge lock. You got the bridge lock uh, sight, and you also have the bridge lock stabilizer on this. So two great options. They show off that high technology. Really, when it comes to tech, there's not much difference between these. The biggest thing being uh, the uh, phase four limbs being the biggest difference here between these bows and obviously the pocket's a little bit different as well. All right, so now I just wanna show you guys some of the accessory concepts here. Again, we have the bridge lock stabilizers. This is a stabilizer you buy direct from Matthews. Uh, we are gonna show that it does go into this system for the image. So again, you're getting that great option to go ahead and push that in if you're traveling, you don't want it there, uh, or be able to pull it out and set it to where you need it. You got your little screw here, it's gonna go into the side. So the image is 29 inch axle axle, which is exactly the same as the V3X and the phase 4 29. So I'll uh, just give you an idea, you're still getting pretty much the same size overall. The brace height in this bow is six inches. The draw lengths are 25.5 to 30 inches. Uh, the physical weight is 4.27 pounds. Uh, the MSRP is 12.99, up to 335 feet per second. Again, draw weights are 40, 43, 47, or 50. You could do 80 or 85% let off. And again, the same cam as we've seen, the cost-centric weight with switch weight technology. Pretty cool because you still get the stay of feel system. You can still do that with this bow. We talked about the connect system there. You can use all those accessories. Again, the bridge lock, you still get both of that, uh, the stabilizer and the sight area to do the bridge lock. Uh, you have the engage grip, same grip we've seen from Matthews over time. Of course, if this grip isn't for you, there's a couple options in the market that we talked about in the show that you could swap it, it's up to you. Uh, but it, overall, it's got a good feel to it. Uh, very balanced, very well, this bow. It feels very nice in your hand. And uh, obviously at the lower poundage, it's very smooth. So when it comes to colors of this bow, there's only actually a few limb options you can get, but a bunch of different riser options. So for the limbs, you can do granite, green ambush, or black, that's pretty much it. There's only a couple options there. But for the riser, there's a, a huge variety you can do. First Light Spectra, Granite, Under Armour, Forest, All Season, Real Tree Edge, Green Ambush, Black, Opnifade Subalpine, Opnifade Elevated 2. So plenty of options on your colors that you wanna do. I just kind of prefer the old fashioned black. I think it looks sweet. Uh, and you can put any accessories on this you want and make it look good. All right, so we got our chronograph set up here behind us. We're gonna go ahead and run that image through here. We're at 29 inches of draw, 52 pounds, just slightly over 52, so we'll call it 52. Uh, we are gonna run a 350 arrow, 450, 550, and 650 grains, uh, and we'll see what we get. All right, first arrow is 350 grains. 281. Arrow number two, 450 grains. Okay, 243. Third arrow, 550 grains. 224. Last arrow, 650 grains. 
207 feet per second. So again, that same smoothness with Matthew's bows you get there. And it feels great. That's a good shooting bow. And to be honest with that weight, it's so easy to pull. It feels really nice. Um, I, I feel like I should just use that weight all the time. It feels great. And if you are asking me like, Dave, can I shoot a deer with that 52 pound bow right there? I would say yes. You definitely check your state rules and regulations of what you're allowed to do. But I've seen a lot of people in the industry get a lot of deer around 48 pounds um, and just clean shots. A lot of them are using a, uh, a fixed blade broadhead, but uh, at this poundage, you can easily take a deer. All right, guys, that is the image from Matthews, a very smooth shooting bow, still providing that great Matthews feel, a lot of power. Again, the same Matthews tech that we've seen, and, and I think that's very important to say uh, because you are getting a high-level bow here, and of course, at $12.99, it's definitely at the top tier price with the other Matthews bows. But again, if you're a person who wants to shoot a Matthews bow that just couldn't do those full weights at uh, 60, 70, and, and so forth, this is a great option for you and I do like it a lot. I, I feel like if I was hunting um, and I really didn't care about draw weight, like if I just wanted 50 pounds, I would definitely consider getting this bow. And uh, especially for like, let's say tree stand hunting in Michigan at 20 yards, 30 yards. I think this would be an excellent choice at 50, 50 pounds, 52 pounds right in there. So this bow is 4.27 pounds, whereas the phase four is like 4.48 pounds. So it's definitely a little bit lighter, but I think a lot of that is in the pocket. Of course, we talked about the width being a little bit more narrow with this bow, which I kind of like it, you know, to be honest, I kind of like it's a little bit more compact and smaller, uh, especially in the pocket area. I kind of like that a lot about it. Check out Matthews online. We'll link this bow below. If you are a person that could use this bow, I think you're gonna really like it. I'd love to hear your comments below on this model. Do you think it makes sense? Do you like what you see with this bow? Uh, do you think it should be the same price or should be a little bit less money? Just some questions I think that we should ask and you guys could, you know, let's hear your thoughts on that uh, from Matthews here. But again, great bow uh, and it looks awesome. So just want to say a special thanks to all the great companies who really do help support Bowhunter Planet and keep us doing what we do. Some of those companies include, but not limited to, Easton, Trophy Ridge, Dead Down Wind, Tanks, and Sig Sauer. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and haven't. And uh, check out our membership for all the great giveaways we have going on right now. Some really cool stuff to check out. We'll see you next time right here on Bowhunter Planet.